Go look at the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in Man Ki Baat program on Doordarshan and All India Radio. Police takes up sewer motor cases against assaults and vandalism on pedestrians during FKJGP rally. Government to soon commission first unit of Ganol Hydro Power Project informs Deputy Chief Minister. And let Umpra market fire incident incur losses up to 1.90 crore, says East Shillong legislator Ampreen Lingdong. The news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people of the country and abroad in Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. tomorrow. It will be the 94th episode of the monthly radio program. The program will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Doodarshan, the AIR News website and News on Air mobile app. It will also be live streamed on the YouTube channels of the AIR News, DD News, PMO and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. AIR will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. The state police on Friday evening registered two sewer motu cases at Lajamkra and Sadar Police Station on the physical assault and vandalism on pedestrians and commuters that took place during the rally. Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong on Friday said the state government has authorized police to take necessary steps and depending on the inputs from the police and only then police and government will take its own course of action. He was reacting to the FKJGP sponsored rally against unemployment, which turned as sporadic cases of attack on people, including the press and vehicles, were reported. Reportedly, the Deputy Commissioner also said police have also been directed to take action against those involved in the violent attacks that caused minor injuries to a few pedestrian and two wheeler riders. The message is very clear. See, you can have peace rally meeting or whatever you want. It is okay, whatever. But please don't create law and order. And the, the message is very clear. Uh, I would request all the leaders of FKGP or any other NGOs, uh, leaders, you can have your meeting. No, there's no, no doubt about it. But at the same time, please control your members or your volunteers, whatever, because we don't want to see any law and order in the state of Meghalaya. The system is what? We authorize the police authority to take necessary steps, whatever required to be done. So we have already authorized. I've already spoken also personally to the police the authority, and now they are on the job. Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister in Charge of Power, Preston Tinsong, informed that the government would soon commission the first unit of the Ganoal Hydro Power Project, stating that the focus of the government is to commission one unit of Ganoal Hydro Power Project. He said it will be done by December this year. The Ganoal Hydro Power Project, which has come under the scanner over cost escalation, which is from Rs 356 crore to Rs 507 crore. The project with a capacity of 21.5 megawatt is being implemented in Chibra around 15 km from Tura. It will be the first hydro power project in the Garo Hills region. The project has encountered several delays since it was conceived in 2006. Meanwhile, the Deputy Chief Minister said the government will also commission one small hydro project in Motion Road. There are only few projects where we are going to launch very soon. One is Canon project and that also not fully. We have three units. Uh, but one unit within this year, we are we are going to commission it in canal uh, in in canal project by December. By December, we will launch it, and uh, uh, another two again private investors, which is uh, again in the in the pipeline, and one more is uh, that uh, in uh, in that uh, Shalam site, Motion Road site. Again, that also is in the pipeline. But I, I would like to tell you right now, our uh, focus is for one unit of Kano uh, project will be commissioned, will be inaugurated within this year. 
Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong said that the revenue generation of the Meghalaya Energy Corporation Limited MEECL may touch rupees 100 crore monthly. Speaking to reporters, Tinsong said the MEECL is spending over rupees 150 crore monthly against the revenue generation of rupees 75 crore. Tinsong said that the corporation has to also clear its outstanding dues on a monthly basis as the state still has to purchase power from different CPSUs. The Deputy Chief Minister said as of now the government has from time to time bailed out the MEECL. However, all these issues are being seriously examined. Monthly MECL spending about 150 crores. Monthly. Revenue generation is about 75 crores, which means 50% deficit. Okay, so now why time and again the government has to bail out? When situation comes, government has to bail it out. Why? Because as I said to you, if the revenue generation monthly is only 50%, what do you spend? So how, how, how do we survive? It's very difficult. As many as 64 vendors have suffered big loss due to the massive fire that broke out at Lightning Crop Market on Friday morning. East Shillong legislator Amprin Lingdor informed that the damage caused by the fire was up to Rs 1.90 crore. Talking to reporters, Lingdor said they are finding space for these vendors at the earliest. The East Shillong legislator also said that the actual cause of the fire is yet to be ascertained. Lingdor said she has sought the intervention as of the Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma to rebuild the particular location at the earliest. She informed that they will be having a second round of meeting with the Deputy Commissioner on Monday. Sixty-four vendors would mean finding a space for them at the earliest as to which would be the most ideal location to locate these people. We've taken a call with the Honourable Chief Minister and his kind intervention. Uh, we would likely now try to uh, rebuild this particular location at the earliest with minimum costs. Uh, we also have other options. There's a neighbouring land of the Darbar. Um, which we may use according to the Darbar's uh, uh, intervention about two to three months. So there are these dry rations and other vendors who will not be able to be relocated in this in the premises of the wet market where meat and fish is sold. So we are now going to have a quick meeting with the DC as well. The Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports Government of India under the Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan West Giant Hills District today organized a district-level Yuva Utsav 2022 India at 2047 on the theme Take Pride in Our Heritage and Legacy at Marion Hill Higher Secondary School, Jawai. Jawai MLA Wailat Miki Shilla during the valedictory function distributed the prize to the winner in various competitions held today. Speaking exclusive to DD News, District Youth Officer D. Rapsang informed that the objective the objective of the program is to achieve the goals in bringing youth together to spread the message of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahutsav and to build up the sense of belonging and preserve the rich heritage culture of our country. The weather report. The maximum temperature was 25.3 degrees Celsius and the minimum temperature was 11.8 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity in the morning was 55% while in the evening was 59%. Forecast, dry weather is most likely.
Our news bulletin is also available live on our YouTube channel. In addition to watching our television viewers, may visit the DD News Shillong YouTube channel to tune in to our daily bulletin. Before we wind up, here are the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in Monkey Bath program on Doordarshan and All India Radio. Police takes up sewer motor cases against assault and vandalism on pedestrians during FKJGP rally. Government to soon commission first unit of Ganol hydropower project informs Deputy Chief Minister. And Lightem Crop Market fire incident incurred losses up to 1.90 crore, says East Shillong legislator Anthony Lingo. That's all we have in the news. Do join us again tomorrow at the same time, same channel. Have a good night.